Hey guys, I just wanted to go over how to find the surface area of a three-dimensional shape once again, just to make sure we are all on the same page. So if you have any three-dimensional shape, what you kind of want to do to get the idea, if you're kind of confused on it, is to make a net of it. So if we have this cube here, and this cube is a basically collection of three-dimensional squares, and we flatten it out, you have your base, which is this guy right here. Kind of shade that in for you a little bit. And then you have this square right here. You have this square right here. Then you have this square right here. And you have this square behind. So that guy right there, right there. Additionally, this top, this is also considered a base. You can kind of put that off of any one of these that you want. So I'll put it there and kind of shade that in for you. And then all you have to do for a cube especially is take the surface area or the area of each one of these shapes. So this one would be base times height. So you do base times height for this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and you add them all together. Same thing is true for a triangle. Slide down. So if we have a triangular prism or a pyramid with a triangular base, making this kind of extremely obnoxiously large. That's okay. We have our triangular line going across there. Just like that. We know that this is going to be the same thing as, and we'll shade in our base, to give you guys a better idea of where that is on our net. So you have this triangle as the base of the net. Then you have this guy. You have this guy, and you have the guy in the back, giving you three triangles. And as we know, the formula for the area of a triangle is area equals base times height divided by two. So you do this, 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 and this, and then you add them all together. That's the key. You have to add them all together. Now, of course, if you have a rectangular or a square-based triangle, so we'll do one of those right here. And got it line. You do the same thing for surface area. So it's got a square base or rectangular base, and then you draw one, two, three, four points on there. And it's the same idea. We find base times height, and then up here we do base times height divided by two. You do that for all of those. And then you have to add them together. That's the important part. Don't forget to add them together. So that's a quick little video, hopefully detailing how to find the surface area of three-dimensional shapes. Hope you enjoyed.